Hey everybody, it's Brickwaffle here, and today we're ready for the second episode of our Mod Sauce Let's Play. And as you can see, I've been gathering quite a bit of resources. We've got some other folks on the server that are all contributing, and now, thanks to some of the advanced genetics, we have flight and night vision, and uh, a few other things that are pretty handy. We have managed to get cells from an enderman, so we have a death ender chest, which means when we die, all of our stuff goes in there, instead of actually being scattered wherever we die. And what we want to do today is expand our storage. You can see that we've been doing quite a bit of work in the nether. That's 187 stacks of netherrack, thanks to a quarry that Sonata Block helped me set up. And now he's also set up the Ender IO tanks, so we have an infinite source of lava, meaning magmatic dynamos are effectively an infinite source of power for us. So that's really exciting, but you can see here we're going to be running out of storage pretty quickly. So what I wanted to do today is work a little bit underneath this base and uh, move some things around, and we'll get started on that here shortly. All right, so now thanks to this nice hammer, we've been able to clear out uh, quite a bit of space in here. We're going to use these dollies to move these barrels around. And what I want to do is move them around the top and bottom so that we can use some item transport pipes to easily put the items that we get into these barrels. So the dolly, man, this is just a terrific little invention here in this mod pack. You can just grab a chest, a barrel, whatever you want, and just move it with all of its contents. That is absolutely outstanding. I'm a huge fan of this, and it's going to make storage a lot easier. And now here I am not putting things the way I said I was going to. That's what I get for trying to talk and do this at the same time. Um, and that probably doesn't make sense. Let's move that over. That's what I really like. You can reorganize stuff very easily. Uh, let's put all the rubber products next to each other. So rubber trees, rubber saplings, and rubber. Wool and string should go next to each other. That's going to make this a little bit easier. Uh, obviously, we're going to need cobblestone somewhere over here. And those empty chests, some ore. I thought we had a chest full of dirt. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, it does not look that way. So what we'll do next is we'll try to move some ingots around. I was I had this great idea that I was going to organize everything by the kind of tier that it is. So you'd have, um, in vanilla, you'd have, of course, stone and then iron and then gold and diamond. Uh, with these mods, I'm not entirely sure what some of these ores are compared to each other. It's kind of hard to tell, and I don't want to stop and look all that up for now. So what it'll be is um, I'm going to do this part on camera a little bit. And I may move this around in between videos. You can see that I do play during the week. We've obviously made some accomplishments on the server. Um, so I will probably do some of that in between these episodes. In the short term, though, let's go ahead and move the rest of these over more or less where they belong. Do I have two silver chests? I do. That's unfortunate. Let's just take those out of there and dump them in there. And look, I have more silver than I thought. Uh, let's put these empty ones over here for now. So... I'm going to do the rest of this real quick off camera, and I will be right back. All right, and now we have our barrels placed. I made a few more to stretch around the room, so that should give us some more storage for a while. Obviously, we want to replace those torches with something that looks a little bit more interesting. And I think we've got some room, because of the way these are in the corners, to at least throw some glowstone back here. Um, and we do have some glowstone. Let's get some of that. And let's use our chisel to make it look a little bit more interesting. I love the chisel mod. It gives us a lot more options. So glowstone... Let's try the neon glowstone this time. I haven't used that yet. So we'll put some back there and there and there and there. And because I have night vision from the bat cells, it's kind of hard to see how much light we have. So let's take out these torches and just use F3 to see what we need to do. What we don't want to have is have monsters spawning down here. Even if we can see, it could still be pretty dangerous. You can see it doesn't take long before we get to that very low light level. So we might have to do some ceiling lights here. Uh, let's try that. We'll do one, oops, let's use a pick, here and here. And that's two in from that side. Let's see if we can come two in from here, two. Let's do that one and that one. And stick some glowstone in there as well. How's that looking on our F3? Looks like we have light level eight or higher everywhere down here. Excellent. So we'll stick this back in here. The one thing I is a little unfortunate with the glowstone is you can't stack it back. Um, but if I recall correctly, I can make this look like normal glowstone again. And then I should be able to stack it back in here. Yep, love that chisel mod. That's one of the best things in this game. Gives you a ton more options for decorating. Absolutely outstanding. Alright, so the next step is now that we have our storage area expanded and lit up, is to make a bunch of transport or transfer pipes, rather. So let's take a look at transfer pipes. We'll need a transfer node for items, which is a crossover pipe or a transfer pipe, ender eye, some redstone, chest, and stone. 
So we'll need to make a bunch of these energy, uh, these pipes anyway. And a transfer pipe is redstone, glass, and stone slabs. So it looks like we've got some smelting to do. We need to take our sand and cobble and smelt those and get some redstone, which I have in one of these other chests. And I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, and we are back, and we have a transfer pipe of 54 transfer pipes and a transfer node for items. So we're just going to put that on this chest. And then we are going to come around here and connect everything. So hopefully I did the math right on this. And if I did, then items should be able to go into here. And when they go through this pipe, they will go into the right chest automatic or the right barrel automatically because they can only hold a single type of item. Now, if we leave this the way it is, whoa, I actually overcounted. That's great. These barrels will fill up with the first random item that goes in there. We may end up having to shuffle some things around, take some things out. If I get, for example, one blaze skeleton or blaze head in here or skeleton skull, I probably don't care too much about stacking those in barrels. We may move those to these other chests that are used for random bits and bobs. Uh, so if we just try this out, we throw those extra transfer pipes in here. Uh, oops. I thought you could open chests into carpenter's blocks, but apparently it's not letting me do that. So let me get some carpenter's stairs instead. So let's get some wood here. Actually, I think I've got some... might even have some carpenter's blocks already made. I don't, but I've got plenty of sticks. Those probably need to be in their own chest, actually, at this point. Taking up a lot of space. Let's go ahead and get one of those and make some carpenter's stairs. Now if we put our chest back up here, it opens just fine, excellent. All right, so let's put our transfer node back on there. And we'll start by throwing in some cobblestone and some stone. So we should see that the cobblestone goes into this chest. There it goes, and stone. I don't believe I have stone, so it should appear in one of these here shortly. There it goes. So transfer pipes aren't the fastest, but they are very friendly on the server, so that's pretty nice. We're going to keep that just like that for now. And now we can dump all of our goodies in here, and they will go into whatever chest or barrel they are supposed to go into. Eventually, when we get a little bit more organized, we will probably lock these barrels. So you can just right-click, I think shift right-click these with one hand, yep, with an open hand here. That means that even if we take all the string out of this, it will still remember that it's a string barrel, and we won't get things missorted in the future. So at some point, like I said, I'll do some organization in here. I'll put everything the way I think it probably needs to go. But for now, this is pretty handy. We can dump all of our items, and they will automatically get sorted. All right, and we are back. And you can see from what I've got here going in the pulverizer and what I've searched for that we're about to learn how to use applied energistics. I know there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this, including some sorts of network storage that you can share all over the place. I know it's kind of an advanced mod, but let's give that a shot. First, we'll eat some venison steak. I was looking on the wiki and I know that I'm going to need a Certus Quartz wrench and a Certus Quartz cutting knife at some point. That doesn't seem to be too bad. And it looks like I'm supposed to be able to combine Certus Quartz dust and Nether Quartz dust with, maybe with sand, let me go look that up real quick, to be able to make the uh, first component that we're going to need to make some seeds. Alright, apparently it's the dust and sand that makes seeds and that's going to give us quite a few of those. And then let's drop some more sand in there with our Nether Quartz dust and we'll get some Nether Quartz seeds. And that's actually more than we can get here. So let's leave that. Uh, well, actually, we can't. That's not a real crafting table. So can we... Let's see. We'll just drop some of that right here for a second. And we're going to put this sand in a chest. And we'll put this nether quartz dust in a chest. Uh, let's go throw that actually near the grinder. And then we're going to go throw our seeds in some water, which I believe is how you get these to grow. So we probably need a little pool down here, but before we do that, let's go head upstairs if we can find our way out of our own base. And I don't know why I keep talking about myself as we, but uh, let's go outside, throw these in sand. Uh, let's go sleep in the bed first and make it daytime. Then we'll throw these in sand and see what happens. So I'll be right back with you in just a moment. Okay, you can see it is now daytime, so let's throw another quartz seed. Let's just throw all of them in here, and then we will throw some surface quartz seeds in here. And we will see what happens. Now, apparently, these are supposed to react with water. They don't despawn. That's what it says here anyway. And that should let us get more of whatever we've placed here, so we'll be able to collect crystal quartz. Now, if this works, I'm not sure how long it'll take. So let me get a quick timer, and I will resume when they are fully grown. OK, after waiting for a while, I've decided to look on the wiki, and it looks like several hours by default to grow these seeds into crystals. So we're definitely not going to do that right now. We are, however, going to take some advice and Whoops, let's see if we can stack those. Why can't I stack those two things? They must be partially grown. Interesting. Well, we'll leave that one there right now. We'll come back and get that later, or we will completely forget about it. But I had an idea. I think we can use some cauldrons and some 
translocators with a filter to only pick up the adult crystals and that way we'll be able to just throw a bunch in the chamber there and we'll pick up the adult crystals when they are done. So we just need to find a place to do that and I do have a small room over here that has a pulverizer and an induction smelter so what we probably want to do is put it in this area as well and like I said I think a cauldron should work um, but we'll just want to go ahead and do that real quick so let's go dump these things in a chest here oops try that 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 and all of that so, and you too get in there all right so let's go get a cauldron a translocator and set that up all right we're back and I've got uh, two cauldrons here I've got an iron chest and an advanced item collector with an item filter that will pick up nether quartz and service quartz crystals so that uh, in a radius of three blocks we can test that out by throwing a quartz crystal in here and another quartz crystal in here and you can see that they both end up in the chest so now what we can do is throw some of each of these in here and let's do oops let's do this one and this one so throw that one in there nope try that they do not want to go into the cauldron huh nope all right well we will replace these cauldrons with some pools of water all right so we now have a pool of water in the same space just back in the wall a little bit we should be able to pick up anything from there into the chest that's good now let's try throwing those in and those in okay good so it looks like that will work for us uh, let's nether quartz is pretty easy to get so let's try growing a lot of certus quartz at first and I'm not sure how many of these I can stick in there if it needs a separate block or if I could just dump this all in here and let it go looks like I can just keep chucking these all in here which is great so we're gonna do all of that and we're going to ignore it for the rest of the day and hopefully we will have some crystals when we get back alright so that's pretty much all we can do for now let's throw some tools into one of these chests maybe machinery I don't know um, we need to figure out what we're gonna do for our next project we do have some spawners in here and some other items I'm just gonna throw these tools in here for now probably what we we'll want to do is gather some nether stone nether brick rather from our fortress and let me show you what we've got here so we've got drawbridges with iron sp iron bars and some of this nether brick that's been chiseled so let's grab a bunch more of that and you can see that when we come in here we are fortunate enough that our nether portal is inside a fortress so I did come in here already I think the original nether portal came out somewhere over there and I turned around I saw this nether fortress I thought that would be perfect so I basically did that, put an elevator, and now we're up in the fortress proper. So we can gather a bunch of nether brick and then chisel it into that kind of neat looking lava pattern. And we will use, I think we'll use Zumavoid's design uh, with the conveyor belts and a switch. And we'll put in a spawner room. So let's close this. And I'll be right back when I built that. Alright, this is our spawner room. You can see we've got two spawners up there from Soul Shards. Um, that is a really, really nice mod, uh, especially for things like blazes. Uh, you can basically get Soul Shards, and I don't think I have any more of them on me, but when you have one in your inventory, or on your hotbar, when you kill a monster, it binds it to that monster type. The more of those monsters you kill, the higher the tier of that Soul Shard is. And then you make these Soul Cages, which are just pretty much iron bars. It's really easy to make. You put a Soul Shard into them, and when they receive Redstone Signal, they activate and start spawning. Now tier 1 is a little bit slower than a vanilla spawner. Tier 2 is about the same as a vanilla spawner. And tier 3, 4, and 5 start to spawn ridiculous numbers of mobs. But they also require 500 or more kills to get to those kind of tiers. That's a long, a long time to wait, a lot of kills to do. But if you right click a spawner with a shard that matches it, you get 200 kills in it. So I've now gone around the fortress, collected all the blaze spawners, put in a tier 4 crystal into that one, and I managed to get up to a tier 1 crystal for wither skeletons and if we turn this on we should see that they activate and we should start seeing mobs spawning here any second there's some blazes and these are iron spikes, wow that's very loud you can see that <laughs> yes the hats are unfortunately something we can't collect this way but these iron spikes count as player kills so we will get blaze rods we will get wither skulls we will get all sorts of stuff. So underneath here I'm going to put in an item filter and some barrels and a chest and we will be able to collect all these drops. 
Okay, you can see a gold chest and an item filter in front of me with a couple of translocators. I've been leaving this running overnight, so let's take a look and see. We have 22 stacks of blaze rods and almost 23. Two stacks of blaze powder and almost a third. And if we look in the chest, you can see that we've got now 24 miniature hearts, five necrotic bones, six wither skeleton skulls, a wool of bat, that's interesting, some coal and some regular bones. And if we go up top, we can see that this thing is just running like crazy. The nice thing about these spawners is that they uh, they don't care where you are. Once they're a tier 4 or higher, they'll run as long as the chunk is loaded. You don't have to stay within 16 blocks of them like you do with a normal blaze spawner. So you can see just how many blazes this thing puts out. It is pretty ridiculous. And thankfully, we're killing them fast and collecting their items, because I can imagine this would put a lot of lag on the server if we were trying to collect them all for, say, an XP farm. Um, but anyway, this is toggleable. We do have a redstone torch tower going up to the top. And that pushes that piston up and down, which pulls the redstone block back and forth. So we can turn this off if it's noisy or if it does create any lag. I wanted to make sure that we could have a, a way to turn this on and off as, as we needed to. So now that it's been running for several hours, let's go back and check our Certus Quartz Crystals and our Nether Quartz Crystals. Um, well, they nothing in the water. That might be a good sign. Yes, and in fact it is. We do have, what's that, four stacks of Certus Quartz plus the one we threw in there and three stacks of Nether Quartz plus the one we threw in there. So, when we get to our next episode, we will be able to start looking at Applied Energistics. Well, if you like this video, please do let me know in the comments and leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, please subscribe see more videos from me. As always, I've been BrickWaffle. Thank you for watching.